All right, the second setup for today, this one is by Big B. I'm very excited to play this one. The title of this setup is Dr. Doom, Your New Leader. Let me go ahead and read the synopsis before I show anything. After liberating Sakaar from the Red King, the Hulk makes his way back to Earth with his Warbound. When they arrive, they are met with an all too familiar sight. The Earthlings have been enslaved and are watching their new sport in the Gladiator Arena. Upon entering the arena, they are met with roaring cheers of the crowds. The gates open and in walks the Thing and Human Torch. And then a deep, ominous voice announces, Now all the guests have arrived. Let the games begin. Here we go. Here is our setup today. So our mastermind is Dr. Doom. But if you look down here, Dr. Doom has the Tyrant Mastermind Horror, which gives him plus three attacks. So Dr. Doom normally, here's our mastermind, is a nine attack mastermind, but he's gonna be a 12 attack today. The scheme is Gladiator Pits of Sakaar, villain group Sakaar Imperial Guard and Subterranea, with Doombot Legion as the henchman. And our heroes are Gladiator Hulk, Korg, Kyra, Thing, and the Human Torch. So somehow Thing and Human Torch ended up on Sakaar and Dr. Doom is leading the games, trying to take over Sakaar, a la Secret Wars, and the Warbound are stepping in to stop him. I'm excited for this one too. Let me upload it. And then we'll be good to go. All right, should be uploaded. Let's do our overview here. So Dr. Doom, that's the tactic. <laughs> Where's his mastermind card? Here we are. There he is, always leads Dubot Legion. Master Strike each player with exactly six cards in hand reveals. Oh, let me do the prediction real quick while I go over this. Go. We have until I start to reveal the HQ. All right, Master Strike effect. Each player with exactly six cards in their hand reveals a tech hero or puts two cards in their hand on top of their deck. Now, if you're looking at the if you're looking at the hero group, there are absolutely no heroes with tech. So unless I get a special shield officer, if those are allowed, Big B, uh, I'm not going to be able to avoid the Master Strike effect. All five of them, which is going to be tricky. And at the same time, I'm also using the Tyrant Mastermind Horror. The Tyrant Mastermind Horror simply says the Mastermind has plus three attack. So we wanted to show, or Big B wanted to show how you can use horrors to adjust your game with things like the core Mastermind. They are allowed. All right, so if I get Fitzsimmons or uh, if I get Grant Ward, that's the only way I can avoid the Master Strikes. Or actually there's some bystanders too that, that are tech. But that's about it. Yeah, exactly, Avatar. All right, that's the mastermind today. The scheme is Gladiator Pits of Sakaar, six twists, twist. Until the start of your next turn, each player can only play cards from a single team of their choice during their turn. There are two teams, Fantastic Four and Warbound, which is tricky. So I'll explain why in a second. Evil wins when two villains per player have escaped or the villain deck runs out. So there's a couple ways I can build decks here. I can go Warbound on one side and Fantastic Four on the other, if the HQ allows me, which will work with this scheme, then I won't have a problem with that. Uh, it'll not let me play the shield cards, though. Uh, alternatively, I would like to take Gladiator, Hulk, and Human Torch together because they both deal with wounds. But then, if they're on the same team and I play a twist, that side is going to be pretty useless most of the time. So I have to make a decision there. And Thing has Strength, which works well with Korg and Kyra, I believe. So what do I have to keep track of for this? When two villains per player have escaped or when the villain deck runs out. So I'm just going to keep track of escapes and I'll update you on the villain deck as I go. So villains escape is blank out of four. Now we switch back to four. Hope there's no issues. Fewer twists is nice for this game. And there's only six. I gotta update the number of twists. And that is the last thing I have to update. All right. Oops. Wrong button. Warbound of only a single recruit and is transforming uncommon. Uh, I didn't look yet. So you're telling me that Gladiator, Hulk, Korg, and Kyra only have one recruit card amongst all of them? 
I mean, I have officers as an option. Uh, okay. Uh, good to know. I didn't even check. And uh, Thing and Torch have recruits, so I probably am going to go Gladiator, Hulk, and Human Torch on one side. That means I can put Thing on the other, and then both sides will have recruit. But the scheme is going to mess me up. Thank you. All right. Uh, so tactics are here, ready to go. I've got... You know what? I'm going to get my other card divider here for collecting the victory pile. I'll put Dr. Doom here. We're going to put his permanent plus three counter. Uh, let's still use the D20. It'll be easier to keep track of. So he's going to be 12 attack the whole time. Thanks to the scheme. Thanks to the, um, the, the uh, horror. Let's give our villain deck and hero deck a shuffle just to get things done live. And as soon as I finish shuffling this up and getting my starting hands out, it is time to reveal your predictions. You still have time to put those in. Even if you don't want to put that many points towards the prediction, it's still fun to see what you predicted. So, I recommend you do it. Let's get some wound stuff going. That'll be fun. Wounded Fury. And then I'll use them, and then I'll KO them with Torch, and then I'll repeat. Starting hands. These shield cards are so nice and smooth because these are the th third player and fourth player ones that I never use. Alright, number two. Okay. Okay, I'm about to fill the predict. Uh, fill the predict. Fill the HQ, so predictions ending in about 15 seconds. What you got? Only four of you have made a prediction. Looks like three of you say win, one of you say lose, and the majority of the points are going towards win. I appreciate the confidence in my abilities, but I have no idea what's going to happen. It is still just Dr. Doom, but I do succumb to his Master Strike effect pretty much every, t every time he does it. And by the way, in the deck, I do have, again, uh, plot twists and command strikes, just because I wanted to have this deck ready to go. But they are Master Strikes and Scheme Twists. All right, let's end predictions in three, two, one. Okay. One more person said lose, so let's see what happens. Here we go, HQ starting off. We got things that started on Yancey Street. Torches flame on. Another started on Yancey Street. We got a Gladiator Hulk, don't make me angry. And another Gladiator Hulk. Okay, we only got three different cards here. So if I still want to take Torch and Gladiator Hulk together, I can do that. And then I can take both things on the other side. But we will see how this plays out. Let's get going. Starting with turn one. Oh, hello, 4 and 2. I missed you. Okay, Doombite Legion appear. Doombite Legion are a henchman. Fight, look at the top two cards of your deck. KO one of them and put the other back. KO power is nice. But I can't fight him yet. No more Hydra bases for, for four. We got Doombot Legions. Alright, so do I want to take Thing or Hulk? So Thing is better for early recruit, obviously. Two recruit and then Fantastic Four, you get other two more recruit. If I just take Thing on one side and Torch on the other, I need other Thing cards to trigger this. I once had a game where Doombots forced me to kill. Oh, man. Where you looked at both of them and they're both rares and that happened twice. That's awful. Okay, and then we have Don't Make Me Angry Gladiator Hulk. Draw a card, smash two. Uh, neutral right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make the left-hand side the one with Thing. Four rares ended with two, yeah. You, you, you took after me a little too much. All right, here we go. Three recruits. Gets me Thing on the left. Okay, there's Kyra's Uncommon. Focus the old power. I have not used Kyra a lot. Two attack. Outwit. You may KO a card from your hand or discard pile. Love the KO power. She's probably going to go on the side with Thing. The fewer shield cards I have, the more fantastic four cards I have to trigger things. Cards. Which would be great. Oh yeah, that's a that's great art. Let's look at it again. 
Is that one of the uh, cytoplasm spikes? I think it's one of the cytoplasm and she's just tearing it in half. That's great. I love it. Yeah. Did I say uncommon? Did I say common? I meant uncommon if I said common. Um, here we go. Giganto. Subterranea. Fight. When you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn, draw two extra cards and then burrow. So when you fight it, it goes to the streets if there's nothing in the streets. Okay. Drawing cards is nice, but it's expensive to fight. Are we going to have another game where we don't see strikes or twists? I guess there's six fewer... Uh, five fewer twists in the deck this time. But I can fight the Doombots before I get cards I might not want to KO. So, this is the other side. So, I'm going to want to take Gladiator Hulk, but let's go ahead and fight Doombot Legion first for three top two cards of my deck. Alright, let's... Different situation today, so let's go ahead and get rid of the Shield Agent. Which means... I'm going to have... Actually, before I do that, hold on. I know what my next hand is going to be. I'm going to have... It's a 5 and 1. So there's nothing here for 5. So otherwise, I wouldn't have KO'd that. At least not yet. Oh, we'll, we'll keep it that way. We'll put the trooper back on top. Okay. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and recruit Don't Make Me Angry Gladiator Hulk. Draw a card smash 2. Alternatively, I would have taken an officer. Yeah, we got Seize the Throne. This is a transforming card. Smash three. Then if you discarded at least two cards this turn, transform this into Hulk as King and put it on top of your deck. Okay. All right. He's got my new hand. I've only got... Okay, just making sure I got this right. This was my hand. No, wait, hold on. I think I put these in the wrong place. One moment. This was my hand. Yeah, I got uh, three attack and three recruit is what I ended up with. So this goes to my discard on the right. I think I'm missing a card. Because I should have... I KO'd one. I think I'm missing a uh, agent. Because I grabbed from the player 3 pile, and I, maybe I stole from it earlier. Yeah, 4, 5, 6. I should have another agent. Now I'll steal from player 5. <laughs> Here we go. That's better. Hulk is king is what Core Colossus wishes he was. Yes. For sure. Okay, round 2. Now the 4 and 2, of course, because the first one was 4 and 2. I mean, the core set gave me that many, so I have a slot for player 5 just in case in my in my storage. Okay, another Doombot Legion. More KO power there. I took Thing. Um, probably one Kyra as well there. But I'm going to take the other. It started on Yancey Street, so I get a ton of Recruit if I get both of them. If I get both of them, I'll get 8 Recruit and I can get whatever rares come up. So let's go ahead and take this for 3. And there's a torch. KO wound power. That's it. Okay, so call for backup here. Torches. Two recruit, you may KO a wound from your hand or discard pile if you do get one recruit. Flame on focus six recruit, you get four attack. So we'll do our best here. I'm happy with splitting them up, even though the scheme twist is going to mess me up, because I do not want to get caught. Oh, I need to draw. Because I had to, uh... I had to KO one. It wasn't from my hand, it was from the top of the deck. So I, sh I should shuffle already. Okay. 
a trooper. Okay. Uh, hey, Kaira's there. Yep, Kaira's there again. I'm really confused. Now she's fighting against me. All right, Lieutenant Kaira, fight if you outwit Lieutenant Kaira. Draw two cards. She's here twice. Now we ended up with a four and two anyway. I took Gladiator Hulk already. I might as well take Seize the Throne. If I get both Smash cards, I can transform this early. So let's go ahead and get it. There's another Yancey Street card. Let's go. I'm so sick of these four and twos. Okay, there's our first scheme twist. Which is fine for this turn. Uh, but next turn might be a problem. Until the start of your next turn, each player can only play cards from a single team of their choice. So I can only play shield this turn, by the way. Next turn, I'm going to have a problem because I do have a Hulk. <laughs> I'll pick shield this turn. Next turn, uh, I might do something different, but we'll see. So let's go with... Um, Let's keep going. Let's take the third Yancey Street. Now I have three of them, so I can start recruiting like crazy. And that'll be the end of that. Did I get them both this turn? I did. So this turn I've got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine recruit. Okay. Now this side I can still only pick one class. So either I get three recruit into attack, or I draw a card and I smash two. Probably gonna pick shield, so I can get a torch. Okay, Headman Char from the Sakar Imperial Guard. During your turn, Headman Char gets plus one attack for each villain in your victory pile. Okay, I have one Doombot Legion, so I should probably take him out early. Each player gains a wound. Unfortunately, I can't play both Gladiator Hulk and the Shield Trooper, otherwise I can take him out this turn. That's too bad. Uh, let's go with, since two attack does nothing, but three recruit will do something, I'm going to pick shield. I won't play. Don't make me angry. I could draw a card, but it's probably going to be shield and I can't do anything, so. Three recruit gets me either another don't make me angry or call for backup. Who is to say warbound and fast forward friendly to start for her villain card? I mean, she's here in the HQ too, so I'm not quite sure. Maybe maybe she can just be convinced. You may KO a wound from your hand or discard pull if you do get one recruit. I need recruit power. I'm not going to be able to KO any wounds yet. But because I need recruit power, because I want to get flame on, I will take this for three. And... Ooh, it's clobbering time. I can take this next turn. What great timing. It's clobbering time. Strength, you get plus three attack for each other strength card to play this turn. Okay, this changes things. I think all I want to do is take strength cards now. On the left. That can win me the game. That's wonderful. That makes me very happy. Ah, that was a great combo. Alright. This might be a faster game than I thought, thanks to that rare. Now I can just fight Doombots, KO everything except for his clobbering time and strength cards, and... That would be great. Yeah, Twist would be awful, because uh, then I'd not be able to recruit it. There's four left. Or f five left. And a lot of villain cards, so the odds are good that I won't draw one, but you never know. Yeah, because as you can see, I need the shield agents to put me over. Otherwise, I just have six recruit. And it is... Okay, it's just a Doombot. Good. I used a lot of luck last game, but it looks like I still have some. Okay, I'm going to have an escape, but I don't really care because I'm going to get this rare. So, it started on Yancey Street, gives me two recruit base... And then I'll play the second one for two recruit base, and I trigger the effect. You get two recruit, fantastic. Four, six recruit. Three recruit gives me nine. So on round four, I get a rare, which is very nice. Once again, this thing rare. Five attack, and then strength, you get plus three attack for each other strength card you play this turn. Come over here. Now all I want is to recruit a bunch of strength, and I'm good. Which means I might even take Gladiator Hulk over here. I don't know. But I will have to play it on a uh, 
a time where I can play both classes of cards. Yeah, some t there's rares I have never played in Legendary, ever. Just because they've never come up at a time where I could, I could do that. Which is fun. Because I can play this game for a long time and still not have played all the rares. I wonder how long it's going to be until I play Fantastic Four United's Mr. Fantastic. Or did I already do that? I don't think I already did that. Not yet. I got so excited about all the new characters, I don't think I played a lot of Fantastic Four United. But I should, because that set is fun. I did play it? Okay. Thanks for keeping track of what rares I play. I mean, it's all documented. Why do I have five cards again? I think that was just my error. Nothing made me discard anything. So I get one more card. Draw error. That's another agent. Alright, do I have an escape? I do have an escape. So a Gigantu escapes. Luckily, somehow, there is no negative effect for the escape except for the regular negative effect. And the scheme. So one villain has escaped. So I gotta be careful here. I'm gonna fight something this turn, though. Another Giganto comes in. You gotta be careful. Let's clear out the city a little bit with Seize the Throne. Silo and Brainstorm, you haven't. Okay. And I haven't really played any games besides the one on stream, so those are the ones. I'm not sure what my favorite. I mean, I have an affinity for... So Super Skull is simple to play. I like his. But I feel like with more time, I'm really gonna like Silo and Brainstorm more because... With that one specific scheme, with the um, breach, the alternate reality scheme, Silo was amazing, and I want to play him with other schemes too. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Thanks, Big B. I gotta KO somebody. Um, uh, probably call for backup. Go on. Bye. Okay, and Forged by Fire is revealed. That's great. Transform into Lord of Granite. This is going right with uh thing on the left hand side pretty sure yeah heralds are great all right let's smash three so i can attack something i smash this shield agent for three attack just so i don't have another escape because i'll lose if i have too many escapes for recruit um i still only have one villain on my victory pile so we're going to take out headman char while i can even though i might want the ko power uh, i don't want him to get any more powerful so he is fought for, for three. And now I don't have to worry about that anymore. Let's take Hothead. Um, Lord of Granite. Yeah, let me check. Is Lord of Granite covert? It may, it may be. I would check first, but yeah, you're right. So maybe I'll keep Lord of Granite for the right-hand side. Brainstorm, if you can keep chaining uncommon without a time. Woman out of time is a lot of fun. Yes. I haven't been able to do that yet, but maybe that's why it hasn't clicked with me yet. Um, okay, I take Hothead. I'll gain wounds, but then if I can get some wounds of fury and I can KO them later, that would be great. All right. Um, did I play on my recruit? Yeah, I just played it and then I used it. All right, cool. Yeah, that set is, is very good. They went all out on that. I can tell why it was so frustrating for them to not be able to release it for so long. Because it really was one of their best. We've got another scheme twist. Any second now. Alright. Once again, for two turns, I have to pick one class and I can or one team, and I can only play that team. Which is too bad, because if I didn't have that case, I could have gotten Kyra this turn. So do I want four recruit or two recruit? Probably four, so I'm gonna pick shield agent. And I'll probably take forge by fire. Since, uh, oh wait, this is the strength side. Maybe I'll take don't make me angry. Over here actually, to, to go with the rare that I've got. <laughs> I hope it gets there soon. Yeah, let's take, let's take don't make me angry over here. Even though I want gladiator hulk on the other side, I do want the strength. Also, I might take Seize the Thorn over there, but I gotta leave something for the right-hand side. I want the ones, the one with Wounded Fury. That's his other, uh, his uncommon, I think. Or is that his transformed card? So Hulk is King is the one that uh, goes back to the hand after he's discarded. Uh, okay. Yep, that's the turn. 
So right side also has to follow the team's restriction rule. Which I gotta be careful of because... Okay. Now, all I've got is a bunch of different teams. So my best chance is to do Don't Make Me Angry, Smash 2, and hope I draw another Warbound. And there's the Moloids. Fight K1 of your heroes, but I don't have enough attack to take them out. Oh, this is bad. Well, that's the only shot I have at fighting something. My discard pile consists of Seize the Throne. I think I have another Don't Make Me Angry in there. So I'm going to take that risk. Let's, let's pick Warbound. Let's play... Don't make me angry. I draw a card first. The card is... Nope. Well, it's not like I could have played that and then had the three attacks. So, I'm not even going to smash two because there's no point. And my turn ends. That's pretty bad. Okay, that's it. I didn't have another one. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Well, it's not like I could have fought anything anyway. Well, probably the Doombot Legion are going to escape, and that's half the escapes right there. But if I can ramp up the attack like I think, I can avoid the rest of the escapes. Okay, that's going to be a shield turn, but can't fight anything there. Alright. I only get five attack for this, but that's still five attack. Looks like I'm picking Fantastic Four if I get a twist. Nope, it's Primus Van, so we have our second escape. It's the Doombot Legion that escapes, which is kind of embarrassing. And uh, the counter goes up. I'm already 50% of the way to Evil Winds. But I do have five attack this turn. Actually, I have more. I have six attack, because I don't have the restriction anymore. Primus Van gets one attack for each villain adjacent to him. Fight KO one of your heroes. <laughs> Mr. Bojangles, what is up? Thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. I'm playing a setup of Marvel Legendary. By Big B, who is in chat. It is called uh, Doctor Doom, your new leader. I'm using him with a powered up. Kelston, wow, another raid! Thank you so much. I'm playing a scheme based on uh, something that was written for me by Big B. Thank you for the follow so much. What were you guys playing? Doctor Doom, Gladiator, Princess Car, and all kinds of cool stuff. All right, let's finish this. So he gets one attack for each adjacent hero, so he gets one attack here. Thank you all for the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you like Marvel Legendary or deck building games or whatever, give me a follow. I play this all the time. Welcome. What were you guys playing on your stream? Alright, I'm going to play It's in Time. Avatar, Avatar says I can fight two things, so I'll find that out in a second. Not going to have any strength to play. But I will get five attack here. Oh, I'll get six. I can fight two things. You're totally right. I'll fight the Moloids first so they can't burrow, and then I'll fight the Doombot Legion. Burrow means if you fight them, they will resurrect into the streets. But if something's in the streets, they cannot burrow, and you can take them out. So the order matters. Six attack for playing these two. I will play it started on Yancey Street for two recruit. And Fantastic Four, it activates since I have this Fantastic Four card. I get two more recruit. I'm at four. I get seven recruit. So I can do a big recruit and a big fight this turn, too. That's great. All right, let's do it. Let's take out the Moloids first for three. I, two more escapes than I lose. Otherwise, I'd take out Primus Van. Yeah, I'm going to get Kyera for sure. Uh, fight KO one of your heroes. Uh, I spend three. I KO a shield agent. And it cannot burrow because the streets are occupied, so they are defeated and they go to my victory pile. And then Doombot Legion, I take them out too. And hopefully I don't KO anything good. Look at the top two cards of your deck. KO one of them, put them back. Top two cards of my deck are as follows. Agent, Trooper. I'm going to take out the Agent right now for three. Take it out here. And then I'll keep the Trooper. And this is gone. What are you saying wait for? Did I miss something? Yeah, I had six attack, didn't I? Five plus one, six. I took the Meech out for three. Yeah, I could have taken him out, but I'd rather do the, the KO. You're right, he goes down to nothing. I'll leave him there, though. Um, I know he's going to get powered up, but I'd rather do the KO. Uh, for seven recruit, I'm going to get Kyera. 
I understand. All right, focus the old power to attack outwit. You may KO a card from your hand or discard pile. Yeah, more, more KO power is great. Let's take this for six. Works with the rare that I've got. And that is it. Shadow Queen Kaira outwit draw a card. Nice. Moving on. All right, I'm happy about this. Thing has another strength card, doesn't he? I just haven't seen it. We'll see if I can. By the way, if any of you watching and don't know anything about Marvel Legendary, please don't hesitate to ask questions in the chat. I will be happy to answer, and I'm sure other people watching will be too. Yeah, I have... Don't make me angry. But I want uh, things other strength. Two other strength cards. That's what I thought. I just haven't seen them yet. Here we go. More Doombots. And Avatar's right. Now Primus is 5 attack, but if I take out a Doombot, he'll get a little weaker. But I think that KO is going to help me out in the long run. Alright, I don't have any wounds, so I can't fight anything. I got 2, 5 recruit, and 2 attack. But for 5 recruit, I can take... I can take Shadow Queen and Forge by Fire. Or I can take Seize the Throne. Now, I'm outwitting a lot. I, I will outwit a lot. There's only a two cost. And then I need two strength to transform into Lord of Granite, though. And I already have another one. So I probably want this one so I can transform them sooner than later. So I think I'm going to do that instead of taking Seize of the Throne, even though that will transform as well. But maybe I want Seize of the Throne on the left so I can transform into Hulk as King. Does he transform back, though, I think? Um, no, he doesn't transform back. So maybe I'll take him on the left. Okay, I'm gonna take this for three. And I got two left. Void transforms back. Nice! There's Nova Flame. Is there there's another one that transforms back, or is it just so sentry? Four uh Vanessa four, you get one attack for each city space that contains the villain. This is great for this, but I gotta get it. Um I'd take this on either side, really. Whenever one side can afford it, I'll take it. So maybe I'll take it on the left-hand side, because that's the side I get a lot of recruit on. Even though it's not a strength. It's still 6 attack, plus more. That's all, that's really good. Fantastic Four really showing up for this game. Yeah, Rick Jones is the one, right? He transforms back, I think. The Negabands one? Or am I, or am I wrong about that? Um, yes, and for 2, instead of a sidekick, I will take this. Shadow Queen. And we're good. There. I still got to watch out for these escapes. It is a threat. I'm doing really well. I would hate to lose to the scheme just because something escaped. Okay. I have enough attack power. Okay, even if I get the scheme twist, I can still use the troopers to take out the Doombots. So I'm pretty happy about that. And another Primus Van. So he's going to go in. And he is going to be plus one. So I can take out something that's not a Doombot. Because he's only adjacent to one thing. Rick Jones stays. So maybe I am just thinking a sentry. I swore there was another one that goes back, though. Maybe it is just sentry. Okay, let's play Don't Make Me Angry. We're not going to do a recruiting this turn, I don't think. So let's start by getting this card in the right place. All right, let's draw a card. Kyera, nice. And I smash this agent for two. Let's clear the city out a little bit. Okay, do I outwit? I got 360. You may outwit, you may KO. So I gotta start with my two attack for Smash. Then outwit, you may KO a card from your hand or discard pile. I will KO the shield agent. I'll get the two attack for the base and I'll KO the shield agent here. I have plenty of recruit. And that is for two more attack. I have three more attack. I have seven. So now's my chance to take out Giganto. Or I could take out the Doombots and Primus Van. So I'll think about that in a second. Um. I get two recruit only from this. So here's the deal. I can take out Giganto for seven or Kyera. The reason why I might want to take out Giganto is he will not burrow because there's you know he's in the sewer, he's in the streets. When I do fight, I get to draw two extra cards, which could really help me get that Nova Flame. If I took out Kyera. If I outwit her, draw two cards, I do outwit, so either way I get to draw two cards, but this turn I get to draw two cards this turn. 
but the odds of me getting 8 recruit this turn with 2 card draws is not great. Your next hand can take out Doombot next turn. Yeah, that's what I was going to check. That, that depends on what I do. And then I could fight these two. My right hand has... Okay, two Gladiator Hulks. So right hand can not only smash three things for five, but can also transform. So right hand is going to do great. So knowing that, I am probably going to take out Giganto. Uh, because I'm not worried about the city guys escaping. Uh, so... Yeah, let's do Giganto. Let's set up my next hand better. And let's take him out while he can't burrow. For seven. Yep. Okay, cool. I made the decision. So I get to draw two cards next turn. Hopefully that's enough recruit to get me Nova Flame. That would be fantastic. Pun intended. Uh, and I get a sidekick for two recruit. That's a, that's a bystander. Well, I'm putting that to the back. Actually, no. I have to take it. If it comes up. All right. Wrong side of my stack. Here's the bystander. It's locked off. Okay. Cool. All right. I don't want Wolfsbane, but I'm going to end up getting her. I can't just not do it because I revealed her. I have to uh, deal with that. All right. What did I get? I got... I got it. Here we go. That's two. That's six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. That's right. Seven, eight, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, one more draw. Six, seven, eight. Wow. Okay. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then five attack. Cool. Berserking Hulk is King is awesome, though. Yeah, I guess so. All right. The only reason I won't get this is if I get, um,. The scheme twist, so I hope that doesn't happen. Nope, I did get it. Okay. Bad news is I'm not going to be able to recruit the rare Nova Flame. Good news is I can still do some damage. Uh, so yes, i got to pick one team. But I can at least take Clobber in time in both the NC streets and get six recruit. Oh well. It's not going anywhere. Where are the strikes? So I can only play Gladiator Hulk, which is fine. So we're going to start by playing Don't Make Me Angry. Or Shield, but I'm not going to pick Shield. Okay, uh, first I draw a card. Then I smash two, so I smash the Shield Agent, and I can't even use any way. I get two attack. And let's play Seize the Throne. Smash three, I smash the Shield Agent. I got three more attack, I'm at five. And then if you discarded at least two cards this turn, transform this into Hulk is King. And put it on top of your deck. So I 100% do that. That is awesome. And he is Hocus King. Three attack. When a card effect causes you to discard this card, you may return is this card to your hand. Beautiful. But it goes to the top of my deck for next time. But five attack is enough to let me take something else out in the city. Uh, this Primus Van goes down to four, by the way. But I probably want to take one of these Primus Vans out. And I do get to K one of my heroes this way. So, this one is the, yeah, this one is the, actually, they're both equally likely to only have one villain next to them. Um, if I take out this Primus Band, now this one's actually more likely to not have two villains next to it. So, I should take this one out in the sewers, so when something comes in, this one only has one villain next to it. But then this one will be the same. I think the sewers is the way to go. Um, let's go with this one. Fight it for four. Okay, one of my heroes. Do I want to keep Recruit over here? I still have enough. All right, we'll get rid of this. And Primus Band is gone. Okay, feeling less worried about the city now. But I still got to be aware. Left hand cannot use multiple teams either. Oh, I just realized something. I still can get the rare. I forgot about the order of cards. I can totally still get Nova Flame. Check it out. I'll show you. Here's how. I play Clobber in time first, and then that gives me four recruit, eight recruit. So yeah, I can still get it. Here we go. Scheme Twist. 
Doesn't affect me. Fantastic Four all the way. Once again, that is twist number four. I pick one team. Right side it will affect. Because I have to make a choice. But we'll get to that choice in a second. Alright, let's play. It's Clobberin' time for five attack. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have figured it out. But my brain was elsewhere. My brain was on the next turn already. Okay. Yancey Street. Two recruit, four recruit for triggering the superpower. I'll do it again. I got a lot of things in the air here. And these guys do nothing, but that's still fine. That is enough for Nova Flame. I could take Kyera, but I should still probably take this. Because look at that. I got a lot of thing cards over here too. I guess it is turning into a Fantastic Four deck on the left anyway, even though I didn't plan for it to be that way. More rares for Doombots fodder. Yeah, I gotta be careful. So now would be the time to fight the Doombots, actually. Because I have a rare here and a rare in my discard, so I cannot KO the... Actually, I, I... Yeah, I can't. I'll shuffle my discard in, but I do have one card on my deck. But even so, I should probably still fight... I mean, there's gonna be more Doombots. You know, if I fight the Legion, he's gonna be down to three. So let's fight the Legion anyway. Uh, Doombot Legion, just because I have the rares where I know where they are. Okay, the top card of my deck is a trooper, and then I have to shuffle. I have to shuffle this in, which means these don't get shuffled in, but that's okay. Nova Flame will get shuffled in. I, I might reveal Nova Flame here, but I don't have to uh, KO it. So, I don't. It's two troopers. I KO righty, and the other one goes back on top. These were gone. I do have eight recruits, right? No, I already spent it. I recruited the rare. And that's it. Thanks, Mr. Giraffe. What would I do without you? Oh, I know. Be very thirsty. I drew Nova Flame. But I didn't draw... Oh, I did draw Fantastic Four. All right. Cool. I clear up the city, so he's going to be a little weaker. But I might be able to hit the Mastermind. The Tyrant Mastermind. Okay, I drew a twist last turn, so I'm still under the rule this turn. If I if I recall correctly. So I can only play one team. Let's see what comes up. Great Devil Corker appears. Fight! Look at the top three cards of your deck. Put them back in any order, then feast. Don't like feasting when there's rares abound. So, four attack, gain a wound. Three attack, or one attack and three recruit. Um, if I gain the wound... Oh, Primus Van is back to three. So I can just play Hocus King and take out Primus Van. Or I can get free recruit and get Forged by Fire. Uh, but I think the fight is more important, so I'm going to go do that. I pick Warbound. Yes, I agree with Avatar. All right, uh, three attack. Nothing else except for three attack. I mean, it's only going to be... Let, let me see. What's, what's the difference? How much do I need to hit Doom? I need 12. And then Fantastic Four, I get one attack for each city of space that contains the villain. So if I leave the villain there, that'll give me 9 attack, 10, 11, 12. I have enough to hit him if I don't get a twist. And then if I do get a twist, even with Nova Flame, I won't have enough. So I'm going to fight him anyway. Uh, so let's take out Primus Band for 3. And the fight effect was KO on a hero, so I, I, um, I can't play these. I KO an, an agent. All right, and that was played, and that's the turn. The combination of Thing and these Warbound is, is great. Even though the Fantastic Four are doing just fine on their own. All right, please no twist. I really want to get a lot of attack here. Well, that was ironic. <laughs> well, seeing as how there are no tech heroes anywhere... Each player with exactly six cards in their hand reveals a tech hero, puts two cards in their hand on top of their deck. Which is funny. This doesn't... This is not saved. This is... <laughs> Hulk is king. Cannot avoid this because it's not a discard. So what do I want to put on top? I could always phase into whatever's there. With... With Lockjaw. So I'm not going to get a lot of... Recruit here, but I want Thing to trigger Nova Flame. So probably just the troopers. And then I can draw stuff. I put the troopers on top. I'm going to draw a card with this. I could phase for the for the uh, trooper if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. So let's just put the... Or I could set up my next hand. 
So to hit Doom, I'm still doing this. I need 12 attack. This is going to give me 6. If I play Yancey Street, it gives me 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so if I put the troopers on top, I'll have just enough to hit them. So let's do that. Two troopers on top. My next hand's not going to be great. But I do need to hit him. So, and I, I get a card draw as well. Just for fun, let's phase Lockjaw. He goes to the top of my deck, I draw the trooper. And let's play Don't Make Me Angry. Draw a card. Hey, look, it's Lockjaw. And I smash two, I smash... Actually... I need 12 attack. I get two... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's fine. I smashed the trooper. Right. Right card has to do it too. So, I guess I technically should do it now even though it doesn't affect it. Let me finish this because I'm going to lose my train of thought. I'll get on my attack and I'll handle the right hand. Um, I smash this. I draw a 2 attack. I already drew the card. Uh, I'll play Nova Flame. No, I'll play Yancey Street for 2 recruit. I play Nova Flame. I'm up to eight attack from the base six, and there's two villains in this in the city. One attack for each city space that contains a villain. Notice that it says city space. So if uh, if Galactus destroyed a space, he wouldn't get an extra attack from that. All right, they're from the same set, so that makes sense. And then I'll play Lockjaw for two more attack, which is enough to hit the Mastermind. Before I do, though, let's take care of the right hand side. Uh, hand. Hmm. Two recruit, four recruit. I can get six recruit. I can get another good card. So I'm actually... Uh, the city is fine. I'm going to put... I'm going to go for a recruit this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to take my two attack cards and put them on top of my deck. I got, a, I, I got some buffer time. Okay, right hand is done. Let's go ahead and hit the mastermind. Our tyrant mastermind, kind of. All right, Monarch's Decree, fight, choose one. Each other player draws a card, each other player discards. I'm gonna draw. I already put two on top, so I draw one of those two. And I draw Kyera, because I put that on top, and that lets me draw the other one, so I have my hand back next turn. That's funny. Thanks, Doom. Okay, I'm left with two recruits. I'm gonna get a sidekick. My sidekick is really hard to reach. All right, there it is. It's a standard sidekick. And, oh yeah, Lockjaw. Thank you, goodbye. I would say this is going pretty well. I got lucky with those rares, but you know, I still got him. Four, five, six. Nice. Whew. Only a flat card, that's correct. Okay. A trap. By end of turn, only play cards from a single team of your choice. So this is optional. It's an optional version of the scheme twist. Or suffer. Each After you draw your new hand, each player reveals their hand, chooses a team, and discards all cards that don't belong to that team. Okay. Yeah, two more escapes and it is all over. But I do have three city spaces and I have a lot of attack potential. So it's unlikely that'll happen. Plus, this is a trap. I don't think there's anything that charges or fills the city here. So if I if I wanted to do this, I could play these two, which would give me one attack, two recruit. Left side, what does left side have? If I kept, okay. If I kept just these two, I'd have two attack, three attack, four attack, five. I want. Here's the thing, I could draw a twist anyway, and this wouldn't matter. Okay, you know what? I'll play along with the Silly Coliseum. I'll only play one team this turn. I can afford to, to do that. Um, let's play along. So I'm only going to play Warbound this turn. Uh, we'll come back to this trap. I'll play Shadow Queen Kyra. I will... I don't have any wounds to KO. So, yeah. Play Shadow Queen Kyra. One attack. Do I outwit? I got 3-0-2. Yep. I draw a card. It is a trooper. Remember, we revealed it before. 
and I get Forged by Fire, which just gives me two recruits, so I'm going to have a sidekick and end my turn. All right, sidekick here. And that is the turn, which means that I did pass the Gladiator's Coliseum, so it is defeated. It goes to my victory pile. If, that, if the city was full, I probably would have not passed the trap. I would have had to fight something. Not a great hand, you guys. This one's decent. Let's see if I can play everything. Master Strike. <laughs> Looks like I'm discarding some more cards. It's almost, Big B, like you put no tech heroes in the hero deck on purpose. All right, so I'll do both sides first this time. I'll do it right. What do I want to put on top? Two, four, six, and a card draw. I can fight the corker if uh, I keep all of these. If I don't, I'll get three recruit. Let's go with the attack. Let's let's put Yancy Street and the shield agent on top. Oh, but I'm going to draw one of these. It's fine. I can draw the, the agent and smash it. Put the agent on top then. And right side. Right. But I just put the agent on top, so... Oh, that's true. You know what? Because he feasts, let's put the Yancey Street on top, and then the agent, so he'll feast on the agent. Good call. And I'll have to, I'll have to uh, smash Yancey Street, but that's okay. Okay, right-hand side's deck, or hand... I've got one, two, three agents, two troopers, and don't make me angry. If I put two of these, I can get four attack out of it, which might take out a Doombot if it's there. Or I can keep the recruit and get forged by fire. I'll, I'll, I'll keep the recruit. I'll put the two troopers on top, and I'll keep the other four. Okay. That's that. So let's play this out. Um, and yeah, Devil Corker also lets you look at the top card of your deck. Top three cards. Okay. That's useful. So let's play this out. Let's play Don't Make Me Angry to draw a card. And I will smash the Yancey Street card get to attack. Now I will play focus the old power. I will not KO a card from a hand or discard pile because I need all the attack. I don't want to KO Yancey Street. I guess I could. I have two rares already. But I won't yet. There's more cards I could get. And two more give me six attack. So we're going to fight the Corker. Let's see what comes up on the top. Look at the top three cards of your deck. I know the first one's an agent. That's one, two, three. They're all agents. I'll put them back in any order. Surprise. And then feast. Delicious. And this has gone too. I got two, uh, two agents coming. Okay. How much group did I get this next turn? Uh, same combo. I got. I got 5 attack, and I got 4, 8, 9, 10, 11 recruit. So I'll get some good stuff next turn. And I have the city space to be able to afford to do that literally and time-wise. Another Master Strike. <laughs> this side doesn't have to do anything because I don't have exactly 6 cards in my hand, but the left side is going to be affected once again. Uh, obviously these two are going on top of two agents, so I still have a lot of recruit. That was easy. Let's play Don't Make Me Ang- Actually. If I recall correctly, Smash is optional. You don't have to do it. And I'm probably not going to do it this turn. Unless I draw an impressive amount of attack somehow. Let's draw it. It's a trooper. Um, I got two attack. I can get three if I want, but I'm not going to Smash because it doesn't do anything. I end up with three recruit. Let's take Forge by a Fire so we can hopefully transform it. 
or three. There's Knuckle Sandwich. Focus three recruit to get two attack and its strength. I want that on the left side badly. Let's go for it. Is it a twist? Nope, it's more Moloids. Fight KO one of your heroes. So I don't have I have the streets open, so they're probably gonna they're definitely gonna burrow if I fight them. Which might be fine. I might fight them once just because I'll have to spend the attack on something. I won't have enough attack to hit uh, Kyra or the Mastermind. But this is a recruit turn anyway. Uh, it's Clobber in time, 5 attack, no other strength cards played, so I play that. And I play both Yancey Streets for... This is not here. I play them both for 4 attack, 4 recruit each, so I'm at 8 recruit. This gives me 9. Um, what do I want to recruit? Knuckle Sandwich I wanted. But I could take Focus the Old Power and Don't Make Me Angry. And yeah, again, I still want KO power. I want to KO everything except for the rare and the strength cards. I can have a great hand each turn. So let me go with this and Gladiator Hulk. I'll take this for six. Increases the chances of strength cards showing up. Oh, another one. Crime Stopper. I love this one too. Crime Stopper is whenever you defeat a villain, the bank this turn rescue a bystander, focus one, recruit, move a villain to an adjacent city space. If another villain is already there, swap them. This would be great to focus and fight against uh, Burrow. Because, for example, I could move Kyera and then fight Moloids and then they'd go away. I still have 5 attack. Why did I move that? It goes here. Okay. I'm going to fight the Moloids even though they're going to come back. I'll get to, I'll get a free KO out of it. And let's take Don't Make Me Angry for the uh, other three. Let's, let's go with all in on, uh, on strength. 5 attack. We're going to fight the Moloids for 3. And I fight K one of my heroes, I KO the shield agent. But burrow means they just pop right back up, they burrow and they pop back up, pop into the streets. But that means the next thing that comes up cannot burrow if I leave them there. I'm kinda glad I got those twists out of the way early. Because later in the game it would hurt me more. Alright, I drew a sidekick. And some other interesting stuff. There's a twist. Alright, it's the fifth of six, though. At least they don't lose on twist six. Once again, I gotta pick one team. So, there's nothing I could do to play the sidekick this turn. Right? Because while, while unaffiliated is not a team, I have to play cards from a specific team, which means I cannot play unaffiliated cards. So I can't play the sidekick. So what do I pick? Fantastic Four would give me four attack, and then I could KO the wound and get one more recruit. This seems like the best way to go. I end up with four attack and three recruit. I could fight the Moloids, KO one of my KO my agent. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's pick Fantastic Four. Everybody stay over there. So I play Hothead for four attack, which lets me gain a wound, which makes me gain a wound. It is a standard wound goes to my discard pile and will immediately get rid of that wound. To recruit, you may KO a wound from your hand or discard pile. I will KO that wound I just got. If you do, you get one recruit. The Fantastic Four has access to all sorts of communicators. Johnny prefers his own methods. He sure does. He draws it in the sky. Okay. Um, cool. So let's fight the Moloids and they will not come back this time because they're in the streets. They can't burrow if they're already there. Uh, and I KO one of my heroes. Goodbye. And I will KO this shield agent that I didn't even get to play this turn. I'm sorry. Three recruit will get me nothing here, so let's go with the sidekick. And it is Red Wing. Friends of the Fantastic Four, I assume, somehow. I hold on to my sidekick for a little longer. Left side is going to have the same problem because they also have a sidekick. Thanks to that twist. The twist is definitely an obstacle. And if I hadn't cleared the city, it would have been an even bigger obstacle, but I'm glad I did. Okay, moving over. We have this. There's the rare, which is almost depowered from extra pop points because, well, 
because there's nothing in the city. We'll see what comes in right now. Okay, another twist. Okay. Once again, I have to pick one team, and this is going to last for this turn and the next turn. So if I pick Fantastic Four, I get six attack. That doesn't let me hit anything. So if I pick... I can't pick Unaffiliated, so it's shield by default. So I'm going to pick three Recruit. And I got one attack. doesn't do anything. Nothing to take here, and I don't need any more Recruit, so I'm going to get a Sidekick, and that'll be the end of the turn. It's a standard Sidekick. But at least that was the last twist. So I do not have to deal with that anymore except for the, ne the next turn. And the corker is gone. For this for this setup, yes. Because it cancels out one turn where I have to meet the restriction. Okay. Moving over. This is the very last turn of the game where I have to pick one team. And it might be Warbound this turn. We got the Doombot Legion. Okay. So, I can play Hulkus King to fight the Doombot Legion. I'll have to KO something, but I had to get to look at two things. So, I will play... And I can get a sidekick this way, too. So, I'll only choose Warbound. I'm going to play Hulkus King for three attack. Let's fight the Doombots. Here we go. Top two cards of the deck. Okay, don't want to get rid of that. All right. Out of these two, I'd rather get rid of Shadow Queen. Hoping I can transform this. So let's go ahead. I'm sorry, Shadow Queen. You're KO'd. And so are the Doombots. They're gone. And uh, two Recruit. No transform. So I'll get a sidekick out of it. And it's Zabu for more KO power, and that is the end of my turn. And now I can actually play my hands out like they're <laughs> like they're intended to be for the rest of the game. All right, the game starts now. Now we're talking. Hey, I drew that immediately after. That's nice. It's always nice when that happens. Okay, Rocktar the Molin King ambush. Any villain on the streets move to the bridge, causing any villain already there to escape. I am so glad that didn't happen, because that would have been really bad for this setup. And he has Burrow. Raktar always leaves troops and escape route. Nothing happens. But that did power up Nova Flame a little bit. What do I want? Two recruit or two extra attack? Well, let's go ahead and focus the old power to KO everything else. KO everything. I got two, four, ten... I need to play Gansia Street to hit the Mastermind. So here we go. Let's go ahead and, yeah, let's KO all, both of my Greys. Um, playing this for two, I have no discard pile. So let's go ahead and play the first one and KO the Agent from my hand. Play the second one for two more attack and KO the Trooper from my hand. We will now play, start on Gansia Street for two Recruit. And we'll play Noble Flame, which is going to give us six attack plus two for the two city spaces with Villains. So I get 8 attack, which puts me up to 12 attack, which is exactly enough to hit Dr. Doom again. What are we doing? Treasures of Latveria, when you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn, draw 3 extra cards. Oh, don't mind if I do. That's wonderful. Thank you, Victor. And I got 2 recruit here, so a sidekick for me. Ms. Lion. Okay. A lot of things that let me draw extra cards this game. So let's draw three, uh, nine cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that also cancels his Master Strike effect if that were to happen to me. Look at all that. And I got two sidekicks. I'm going to draw my deck, I think, with these two sidekicks. That's great. Maybe that turn will win me the game. Okay, here we go. Round 13, turn two. Double Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. is captured by Raktar, the Molen King. And maybe I can transform Forge by Fire. We'll see what I get when I play Don't Make Me Angry. Here we go. Don't Make Me Angry. Uh, draw a card. Is it Strength? It's not Strength, so I cannot transform Don't Make Me Angry. Or Forge by Fire. Two, four, five, six, Recruit. Do I want to keep all six Recruit? Yeah, I want to get Flame on. 
So, as far as attack goes, I'm not going to get a lot. That's four, five. I have enough to fight Raktar if I want to, but he's just going to burrow. So, um... I forget if there's another Raktar in the deck, though. If there is one, I don't want to... Well, I'm going to fight him. Let's see. I can get seven recruit, but there's nothing to recruit for seven. Uh, if, when I when I do the wound KO, you're right, but... Um, so I guess I can get rid of an agent. But I don't... I get two, four, six, seven attack. I can fight Kyera if I do that. All right, let's do this. Let's get rid of an agent so I can still get my six recruit and I can fight Kyera as well. And I will outwit so I get to draw two cards. So, smash, two attack. We will play Forge by a Fire for two recruit. It will not transform. We're going to play Hothead for four more attack up to six attack. And I get a wound. It is a... Before I reveal that, that's going to give me a 6th attack. This will give me a 7th attack. And then I'll get 3, 4, 5. And that's okay. I'm going to play this out because I can do two things. All right. I'll get the Blinding Flash wound. Then I will play... Call for backup. Two more recruit. You may KO wound from hand or discard pile. I'm going to KO Blinding Flash that I just got going to give me a another recruit i get a six recruit and i get a seventh attack okay awesome so that's exactly where i want to be i'll spend my seven attack to fight kyara if i outwit her i draw two cards and uh let's do it so let me go ahead and do that yep fight it for seven I draw two, an agent, and a red wing. Okay. So I'll play the agent for one more recruit, and I'll play red wing. Top three of my deck. All right, I shuffle. Two, three. Okay, I have these three. Um, if I draw the sidekick, I'll draw these two. So, I'll do that just so I get better cards next turn. I'll draw the sidekick, and I put the rest back. This goes away. I'll play the sidekick to draw those two I already revealed, which can give me one more recruit and one more one attack, which doesn't really do anything, but that means I have good cards left in my deck to draw and put all together. Okay, eight recruit. I will take Flame On. Focus 6, Recruit, you get plus 4 attack. And then a sidekick. Yeah. And then two more. Two more for a sidekick. Here we go. Standard sidekick. Sweet. That is that. Things are going smoothly. Here's my big hand of nine cards. With two sidekicks in it. No chance I can get a twist. Those are all gone. So let's see what happens here. Okay. I am so glad I didn't fight Raktar. Because what would have happened is if I fought Raktar... I had a feeling there were two of these. If I had fought him last turn, he would have been in the, in the streets by now with Kyara here. And then he would have ambushed and pushed Raktar one more and would have caused her to escape. So I'm glad I didn't do that. He is going to just enter and do nothing else. I wouldn't have lost, but I would have had one uh, one escape away from losing. Okay, let's start with the sidekicks. Yeah, first sidekick. Draw two. Let's draw my deck. One, two. Not exactly. I have two other cards left in my uh, my deck, so I'm gonna shuffle them because I'm gonna play the second sidekick. Although I could recruit something and then draw it before I do that. Yeah, let me recruit, because I might get to draw something good. So let's do the recruit first. Hold on a second. We're going to play Don't Make Me Angry, which means I still have a discard. Um, I draw a card. I had to shuffle anyway. So I play Don't Make Me Angry. I draw a card. And I drew this lion. And I smash two. 
I've smashed the shield agent for two. Attack. I'm going to play... Hold on to its clobber in time for a second. Let's play Ms. Lion. Rescue a bystander. Bystander is... Oh, here's a bystander stack. There's Wolfsbane again, so I do gain her. And I draw a card. It's Kyera. She goes away. This is a great hand. I could KO... I could KO Wolfsbane right now. But I won't. I'll KO the agent. I definitely outwit. I will KO the agent from my discard pile. Now I have three cards in my deck and Wolfsbane in my discard. So let's play Don't Make Me Angry again here to draw a card. It's another Kyera. And I smash two. I smash the other shield agent for two more attack. Actually, I should be at six attack after Kyera. I smash two. I played Kyera. I smash two more. I should be at six attack. Now I'll play Focus the Old Power again for two more attack, and I KO that shield agent that I just smashed. This is going great. Now I think I've played all the strength cards I'm going to play, so I'll play its clobber in time. Uh, unless I want to recruit first, but I want to... Oh, if I recruit first, is there any way for me to draw? No, because I have two cards in my deck and I can't draw anything else. So I'll do it now. Okay, up to 13 attack for base. And then strength, you get three attack for each other strength card you played this turn. I played four strength cards. So, that is plus 12. So I'm at 25 attack now. 20. Oh, I have, I have no more strength cards in my deck. I know how many I have. That's a giraffe. 25. Alright, 25. And then I'm going to play... The Yancey Street card. I'll play the sidekick now. I'll play the sidekick, and I'll draw two. Yeah, no more strength cards, is what I thought. Alright, now let's get a bunch of recruit out of it. Get out of here, Doom. I can hit Doom twice, by the way. Can't win the game yet. I'll play all three. It started on the Yancey Street, so each one's because I played the Fantastic Four. That's four recruit, eight recruit, twelve recruit. And I will play Nova Flame as well, which gives me 11 attack base for the plus 6. Plus, I got one attack for each city space that has a villain in it, so I'm up to 13. So I'm up to 33 attack. I need three more. Oh man, I'm so close. This puts me up to 35. If I had one more attack, I could win the game right now. We'll see what his tactics do. If his tactics let me draw a card, I can win the game this turn um, but first let's yeah let's hit him first here we go gonna hit him for 12 actually he might let me draw extra cards and if I draw Wolfsbane's Berserk that's no more attack so before I'm gonna pause that let me recruit first in case he lets me draw anything um, let's recruit Crime Stopper for 6 and then we'll hit him okay so I'm down to 6 recruit And let's also take Knuckle Sandwich for five. He doesn't. Okay, I wasn't sure. That's fine. It's not going to hurt me. All right, so then we'll go to hit him for 12. His tactic is... Take another turn after this one. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> and then let's hit him for his last tactic. And I'm at 11. The one short. His final tactic is you may recruit a tech or uh, range hero from the HQ for free. I mean, I could take Hothead, but I'm not gonna. I have enough good cards for my next turn. And let's fight Raktar the Molen King for four. Goes down to seven. He is, he is 12 attack because I'm using the horror... I don't know where I put it. The Tyrant Mastermind horror. Um, 
uh, where he gets plus three attack. That was part of the setup that Big B designed. Okay. Uh, so let's hit Raktar this one for four. He's going to burrow uh, to the streets, but I do get double agent of shield. Wait, is my attack way off? No. I already... I had 7, right? I'm at 7 now, after Raktar. I already turned it down. That's right. I thought I was at 11. Okay, guess what? This will let me finish the game. When you rescue a spy scanner, play a copy of one of your... Actually, no, it won't. Because I already spent it on Raktar. But it would have if I got it without Raktar. Alright, uh, I'll play a copy of a shield card. Um... I only have troopers, so I get another trooper, which means I can take out ra both Raktars. Anyway, so I get this bystander, and I'll fight this Raktar. It can't burrow, so it goes away for four. Thanks for that. And then I'll fight this one that also can't burrow, and it also goes away for four. So that's all cleared up. And I get another turn on the left after this one, which I'll take right now. And because I don't have the plus one counter... I don't think. I gotta do this. So we go to the right hand, and we're like, just kidding. It's actually round 15 for the left hand. And here's my new hand, by the way. Okay, we turn the right hand down one, and we're good. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this will do it. What's in the villain deck? Doombot Legion. I think we'll take that out too, just for fun. Here we go. Let's play Don't Make Me Angry. Actually, we'll Berserk last. Draw a card. Don't Make Me Angry. Another Don't Make Me Angry. I will smash one. Hmm. Now, I don't trust Berserk. I'm going to smash Berserk. I want to draw all my cards. And, um, I got two attack from it. Oh, wait, Berserk is going to add up. Never mind. I'll smash the Shield Trooper instead. I forgot it wasn't uh, hyper speed. All right, let's play Crime Stopper for attack. Whenever you defeat a villain in the bank, this turn rescue a bias. If there isn't anybody in the bank, I could, I could move the Doombot Legion if I wanted to for focus one. But I'll decide on that later. Let's play Knuckle Sandwich, which has focus three recruit. You get two attack, but it does give me three recruit right now. Let's we'll see what I want to do. We'll play Don't Make Me Angry again to draw a card and then smash two. I draw... Uh, okay, so I could smash for two, or I could focus three to get two. The smash is better. Oh, this will give me four recruit. Let's... Uh, Focus three is gonna be four. And the leftover will give me more. Let's uh, let's keep it and not smash. Doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see what uh, Wolfsbane gives me. I berserk three times, so I discard three cards, and I get the added attack of all of them. So I get six attack, eight, nine attack with Wolfsbane. I'm at 15. 15 attack. I will play a start on Yancey Street for 4 recruit. I'm up to 7. And I'll play as Clobber in time for 20 attack. This is overkill. And then I get 3, 6, 9, 12. So, one mighty will spin for sure. And I'm at 32 attack. And, uh... Let's get a bystander for fun. I'll focus 1 to move the Doombot Legion to the bank. And I will fight the Doombot Legion for um, for three. I'm down to nine. Let's see what I end up KOing. Maybe I'll KO a rare after all of this. So I fight the Doombot Legion for three. <laughs> Top two. Um, I'm going to be thematic to the storyline of World War Hulk and KO Kyra. <laughs> and put the Ancient Street back. And I get a bystander for defeating... Oh, by the way, Doombot's gone. 
and I got a bystander. The bystander is Jay Parnell. Cross your fingers for doom. Standard bystander. And I have nothing else to do. Let's hit him again. With 17 attack floating. <laughs> 17 attack floating. That's going to be it for doom. And that is it for the game. And it is a victory. I guess indeed the lesson we can learn from today that it was, in fact, clobbering time. And that time has come, and that time has passed. So, that was the game. That was fun! This time Rares worked. Yes, last time Rares hindered me, and this time they did a really good job of helping me. And, uh, getting those twists out of the way actually did help me out. That was fun. So, uh, round of applause for Big B for that setup. Thank you so much for that. Let's go ahead and finish the predictions. Find Kara's transformed her. Okay. I'm going to assume you said please after that. You know, it's just kind of given. It's only so many things you can type in. All right, where was it? It was right at the bottom. It was like five cards down. <laughs> Here's the art just for you. It was uh, five cards from the bottom. You can take a look at that while I finish the predictions. Sorry, it's double sleeve, so it was kind of weird. Let me go ahead and D double sleeve that. There you go. It was a win. By the way, if you'd like to submit a challenge for me to play just like this on one of these streams, just go to challenges.bageltopgames.com and submit one. I picked the ones that I think are the most fun, and I think I was right with these two. Brawler beats brain is what I took from this, I guess. I guess so. Um, okay. Let's do one last prediction for which side do you think did better? If you even want to bother. Do we even want to bother? I think we know which side did better. What's your random guess before I decide to do a prediction for it? Because there might not be a point. I think one side definitely had the attack. So I'm going to go ahead and count the VP. We won't even bother. Okay, right hand side is going to get... Okay, yeah, guess your numbers if you want. I have, I definitely can play the glitchy helicopter <laughs> for you guys if you want. Uh, while you guys are doing that, thank you for being here. Uh, next week, we have some big streams. Oh, gosh. Off the cuff, what is the next... I always forget what the next setup is. What's after Guardians? Is it Agent Carter? I always forget. I'm looking right now, but you're probably going to tell me first. is Agent Carter. I was right. Okay. Agent Carter Season 1 is going to be on Tuesday night. I hope you're there for that. 10 p.m. Pacific. First season of Agent Carter. Uh, then Thursday is going to be Randomizer Stream number 51. We get to see the results of the first Randomizer League with Annihilation cards, and we're going to keep probably seeing Annihilation cards in the f future ones. Saturday is going to be the big viewers play game. Youth versus Experience. I have the setup. I've tested it. It worked really well. I will be revealing the setup for that slowly over the course of this next week. So Monday, I'm going to reveal the henchman group. Tuesday, villain group two. Wednesday, I think. Wednesday, Thursday, scheming mastermind in whatever order I feel like. And then Saturday will be the game. If you want to play and you're a Twitch subscriber or you're a hero or villain in the chat in the Discord, go to the heroes, the viewers play chat in the Discord choose a team and you can still join if you can't see it and you are a subscriber make sure that your twitch and discord accounts are linked that way you can see that all right so we're on the left hand did i put dr doom's mastermind card on the left hand if i don't have it i'll just add six points all right here we go let's count the right hand side first oh i didn't here it is found it okay right hand seven nope that's five cost <laughs> seven attack Se uh, five six seven eight twelve 15, 18, 20, 21. Ooh, shots fired from youth. Anybody want to fight? I think off the cuffs here from, from experience. And I think Mikey too. So 21 on the right. 21 right, and then left hand side. 5, 6, 7, 9, 11, 12, 17, 22, 27, 31, 36, 37, 41, 42, 44. Somebody was keeping track, Avatar. 
I'm impressed you tracked the whole thing. Because I don't think he was that lucky to get them exactly. But well done. I'll still let you pick an effect if you want. And then I'm going to ignore all this cleanup for like a day. It'll be fun. Let's see who's online. We can go raid. Thank you for being here. We had a lot of viewers today. I'm, I'm surprised. I hope you guys like the setups. Who's playing board games? Ooh. Rolling Meeple coming back. <laughs> Fighting for the experience side. I had to do something to calm down after the cap one. You, you track points to calm down? I'm impressed. Who's playing board games? Oh, you know what? We are going to go raid Assorted Meeples. They included me in their top list. They had a big list of game, game streamers you should follow, and they were nice enough to write a little blurb about me, and it was really cool. I put it on my Twitter if you didn't see it, so check that out. We're going to go over to them to thank them for that. Your points are back to mess the next chaos stream. Yeah, we got some time. It won't be till next month. All right. I, as usual, I appreciate you guys all. We're going to go raid Assorted Meeples. This was fun. I'm going to be doing another one in the near future. Thanks for being here. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. I'm going to clean this up. Not really. I'm going to I'm going to procrastinate on that. And I will see you guys later. We're going to go raid, get some points. Take care everybody.